What is going down, guys? My name is SXE Beast. Uh, this is some domination on Hard Hat. This game I'm running around with the Type 95. I had just unlocked it like a game or two prior, and I decided to give it a shot because everybody seems to be bitching about this gun. So I, I wanted to go ahead and I don't know use it a little bit so I can actually weigh in on the matter. And uh, I honestly don't think the gun's that overpowered. I think the gun's the best gun in the game, and that might be a little much. I'm not too sure yet. I haven't really used it that much. I probably have only used it three or four times, to be completely honest. And I'm indifferent at this point in time. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use it a little bit more, see exactly how I feel about it. But this is a while ago. I got this game uh, night of release, more or less. But uh, anyways, the point being, what I wanted to talk about with you guys today is actually something It's very, very similar to aphasia. Um, it's somewhat of a learning disability slash uh, brain functionality issue that I have. Um, I mentioned this a very, very long time ago, about, oh, I'm going to say two months ago. I mentioned this before that on my prior channels, and I mentioned this when I first started this channel, but I wanted to go ahead and, you know, kind of remake this video, make it a little bit more educated, a little more formal, um, something that you guys can actually, you know, listen to and maybe, you know, understand a little bit better, or if you've never heard it before, uh, you guys can find out a little bit something about me as a human being, so um, I'm just gonna come out and say it when I was a child. I was um, <laughs> I Was born with the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck and uh, you guys might not think that's some I don't, I don't know it, it doesn't sound like it just doesn't sound good You <laughs> know, It just does not sound good and basically I had a loss of brain function um, As a child and I obviously still do it doesn't go away uh, but I was unable to subsequently learn, more or less, at the extent that a lot of other people were. Um, I didn't, you know, come out completely, um, I'm trying to look for a word, I, you know, I, I mean no disrespect when I say this word, but, like, retarded. Um, about two months after my birth, my doctor said there was a chance that I might actually have, I don't remember the specific term that he used, I couldn't really find it anywhere I was looking for it. Um, it was very similar to having autism, more or less. And growing up, um, I was just, I was never able to really speak. I was never able to articulate pretty much anything. Uh, as a child, as a, you know, an infant or an adolescent or what have you, I was not really able to speak. Um, you know, most children, you know, they say their first word usually anywhere between 16 to 18 months to two years of age or so. Um, some sooner, some later. It really just depends on the rate in which the child's brain matures and um, how quickly they grow. And more or less, just it, it's, it, it's, it varies. But for the most part, usually I'm going to say 18 months to two years is usually around when the child says the first word. Um, I didn't say my first proper word until I was around three and a half years old. And um, I was not able to actually properly speak until I was around five or six. Uh, I've had a lot of issues. I was just, like I said, I was never able to articulate anything. I was never able to actually properly speak. Um, I could understand what somebody was saying to me, but I would get things mixed up. Like I could hear somebody say, um, hey Ben, go get your toy car. And I would hear that. And I would hear that as, hey Ben, go get your toy car. But that wouldn't make sense to me. Um, I had a lot of issues when it came to comprehending a lot of what people said to me. Um, and I was not able to properly communicate with anybody else. And I went into these classes because I was, I was so smart. It was just I had this major setback to where I couldn't properly speak. I couldn't, I, I don't know how else to say it. I couldn't articulate what I wanted to. Um, they had, I, I, I was put in these classes um, because, I, like I said, I couldn't speak. I couldn't really interact with anybody. I can make gestures and whatnot, but I couldn't actually speak. So essentially what happened is I started taking these classes and I would have a, somewhat of a therapist who would teach me how to speak properly. Somebody who would teach me how to actually, um, I guess you can say, structure the grunts and the noises that I was making into words and they would teach me what they were. Um, so basically, you know, when a child goes to kindergarten or, you know, what have you, it's usually around six years old. Something like that, six years old is usually kindergarten or first grade or something like that. Um, I started uh, schooling when I was around three and a half, four years old, maybe five years old. I don't remember the specific time frame because, you know, uh, memory gets very uh, hazy, I guess you could say, looking back that far um, for somebody who's almost 20 years old like myself. But the point is, uh, I was in school earlier than your average child. And it, I hate to call it school because it basically was therapy, but I don't, I don't like saying that I was in therapy when I was that young. It just doesn't feel right to me for whatever reason. So um, I was being taught uh, <laughs> before I was even in school, more or less. So... Um, by the time I was, uh, you know, going into kindergarten or first grade, uh, well, they're different things, obviously. But when I was going into school, 
uh, it was already you know learning prior to that I, I I was going to two separate schools at once they were teaching me how to speak while I was gonna go to school and I was gonna begin being taught everything that everybody else was and it was just very very difficult for me um, this is I, basically what I had was very similar to aphasia I couldn't speak I couldn't articulate anything I had a hard time just saying what I wanted to say overall I don't know how else to say it and uh, which is ironic now um, and as time progressed, I did get better. I still slur. I still stumble upon my words. I still have a hard time pronouncing a lot of things. Um, and it, it comes at a whim. It's not like just a single word I have a hard time saying. There's just times where I'll just start slurring, and for some reason I can't say a very, very elementary word. I can't say something properly. Uh, sometimes I'll just, you know, I'll come off like a complete blabbering, like, retard. You know, and I, I hate to use that term, but, I mean, I just come off like... An idiot, you know, and I, I just wanted to explain that to you guys, because sometimes I do have these speech fails, like I, I, you hear me say English fail, like when I start slurring or I can't, you know, properly say something. That's basically what's going on. Um, my brain just doesn't. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm very, very proud. Uh, I'm very proud to say that I'm, you know, where I am now. Because when you guys listen to something a little bit more gathered, a little bit more educated, something a little bit more. Uh, not serious, but something where I'm actually, I'm not just sitting down, staring at my wall, and just talking for a matter of minutes. You know, I actually have some sort of direction with what I wanted to talk about. You can hear that I'm a pretty articulate guy. I'm a pretty intelligent guy. I'm a well-spoken guy. Uh, I don't use the biggest words. I don't have the most vast vocabulary, but for the most part, I speak like an above-average individual. You know, I speak like a very intelligent guy. I, I have an intellectual prowess years beyond my general age demographic. Uh, and just right there, you know, I'm very proud that I'm actually able to say that, comprehend what I'm saying, and be where I'm at today. Because I've had to overcome a lot growing up. Because, I mean, do you have any idea how much it sucked to be the one kid um, who just couldn't have a conversation? You know, I, whether I was in first grade, second grade, third grade. Um, the kid who just wasn't able to carry on a conversation and make friends because he couldn't fucking speak? It, it sucks. So... There's a little something about me. I don't know the proper term for it. I'll go ahead and look for it a little bit more. If I could find it, I'll go ahead and I'll leave it in the comments below and in the description. But don't get your hopes up because it's not... I can't find it. So essentially, when I was born, um, there was an oxygen deprivation in my brain. Uh, I had some major, major mental setbacks. Uh, somewhat of a disability. And it's hindered me in many, many ways. And you guys will hear about that when I talk about you know my history... Um, in schooling and where I'm at now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a huge favor. Leave a rating and a comment. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.